I usually wake up early to let my little puppy out for a good wee wee <laughs> throughout the night. So he is now a good boy and is potty trained. Yay! Our mornings can look different day on day, but on this particular occasion, I didn't go back to bed for cuddles. I ended up staying up. I had my usual glass of water in the morning because I find that refreshing. And instead, I put the washing on. I don't know about you guys, but I'm using this good heat wave, good weather to do as much washing as I can. I actually ended up just washing or re-washing everything in my husband's wardrobe just because I thought I felt like I smelt something moldy. So just in case, and then you can see now that I am preparing breakfast. I like a good old porridge with some banana. Don't worry guys, it's a bit grainy at the beginning, but it does brighten up as the morning and the sunshine comes up. As you can see now, I've put his lunch in the fridge. As I said, it's really hot. So I just wanted to make sure that whilst we're getting ready and we've got a few hours until preschool, that actually all his sandwich and his like fruit and veg are all okay in the fridge. So I put him at the dining table to watch his tablet because he was cold and still like half awake. Um, and basically I did my chores. Uh, you'll see me doing this dishwasher um, throughout my other tasks <laughs> or other bits that I've been doing like feed the dog for example and then have breakfast but you'll see that that's my usual routine in the morning. You'll notice that my son doesn't stay on the tablet long, so I think that I'm quite lucky there. I've got a child who's very active and is very interested in just moving, 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 especially when it comes to food as well. I sort of have to give him one spoon to be like, hmm, yeah, I am actually hungry, and then distract him with something else, whether it's a tablet, whether it's a game, like you'll see this evening, that my husband plays a puzzle with him whilst I try and feed him. So yeah, basically, 
I get him dressed as I can whilst he plays his toys. Our puppy is like relentless and tries to take all the little cars that we've got and every other kid's toy that we've got around the house. But he's learning and he's definitely getting better. So consistency is key, guys, if you've got a puppy. And then, yeah, what you'll see now is us just getting lazily ready because we've got plenty of time. Um, he plays with his cars and you will see in a minute me put on sun lotion for him because it's been so hot I don't let him leave the house without some sun lotion especially in the preschool who is not allowed to actually apply the sun lotion as far as I know I don't know whether it's COVID rules or just in general so I make sure that he's got that sun lotion on and he is very good but he doesn't like his face being done so I usually have to do that whilst he's running away Aiden has found our Triopoly game and he's recently been obsessed with board games so we just played that quickly before we did his teeth. My husband actually started work early at home because he had a very early meeting which he actually manages to finish before we go out so that he does say goodbye to us which is nice but as you can see as well me doing my son's teeth I sort of have to catch him wherever he is he's standing on the toilet at this point. <laughs> so yeah that's what we're doing. I put all the fridge lunch bits into his lunch box which is a McQueen which he absolutely loves and I also show you that I added some veggies to that because I didn't know whether that was enough so just in case so that he's got something to graze on so I put some cucumbers and carrots in there too as well as some fruit his fruit and a sandwich which I alternate between sandwich and wraps usually. I got back from the school run and I uh, did my hair makeup very quickly and I did start work. So my plan is to do six hours today. So I'm going to see how that works. Obviously my other half is going to pick up um, Aiden after school. So that's usually our run. So I do the mornings, he does the afternoon. Uh, basically he sometimes takes him to the park. So we'll see how that goes. If not, maybe to a cafe, but he's also got football classes tonight. 
so maybe he will come home and then maybe go out in the pool in the garden we're not quite sure yet we'll see how that goes but basically it'll give me plenty of time to do the full six hours today because if not I'll have to do it in the evening tonight or I'll like do more hours tomorrow so it's great to be freelance because I can look after my own hours and time so that's how it's going to work so yeah I'm going to sit down on my laptop now and basically do some work I don't know where I left you guys because my battery died. I don't know whether it's from the heat or the fact that I've been filming quite a lot, but basically we ended up playing video games. I say video games, Xbox games, basically. I sound very old when I say video games, don't I? <laughs> and basically it was just in the run up to his football classes. So the boys went off to football and that's why I'm sitting here in peace enjoying some quiet i was literally just scrolling on my phone until my battery was like really low and then i thought you know what i'll update you guys i did do all my hours that i wanted which was really good my other half probably needs to catch up on some work because obviously he picked him up and then he was playing some games with us so We'll see how it goes this evening. Um, but apart from that, I'm very much expecting my son to come back and him to be asleep because the car usually lulls him into sleep. And because he's not had a nap today, by the time football's done and everything, it'll be around seven o'clock. So I wouldn't be surprised if basically he's asleep. And that means that he'll sleep the whole way through the night, which is fantastic and exactly what I want. We've been cutting out his naps, um, so that works out perfectly. So that's what it pretty much is like, guys. So we're back to school. That was the morning and the evening, a typical day on a preschool day, because on Mondays and Fridays, he's at nannies, and then the weekend is the weekend, isn't it? So all back to all the activities as well on the weekends. I hope your kids go back to school okay, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye, friends.